Hello everyone, this is Harry Gill and in this video we are discussing polling of the chapter concurrency. This is the part 2 of the chapter. If you have directly landed here, I strongly recommend you to go through the part 1 to understand the basics of the threads. Even though a multi-threaded program allows you to run tasks in parallel, there is often a situation where one thread needs to wait for the other thread. One solution to do this is polling. Polling is a process where one thread constantly checks if the other thread is done before it continues. And in this video, we will see how to do a polling using a static variable. Before I jump into the IntelliJ, let me show you what I'm going to implement. So I'll create a main thread and that main thread will start another thread. Let's call that new thread as increment number. We will also have a variable, a static variable called counter. We will go through what static variable is in a different video. But for now, for this video, just know that static variable is a variable that can be accessed by both the threads. So increment thread will keep on incrementing the counter variable and the main thread will keep constantly checking the value of the counter and as soon as that value goes above a defined value the main thread will continue with its process. Now let's jump over to IntelliJ. For this particular video I am going to create a new package called part2.polling. I will name the class as check result and will create a main method and in the main method I will define the task that the new thread will do and start it. So this new thread is the increment number thread and as I have explained in the previous video I'm using the functional interface to define the task that the thread will do. Uh, now let me create a static counter variable and I'm creating a for loop. In this I will increment the counter and in the main thread I will keep checking the counter value and if it is less than 400 I'm going to print not reached keep waiting and then the while loop will go over and over again until the val counter value is less than 400 and as soon as it goes above 400 we'll get out of the while loop and print reached end of the main thread. Now let me save and run the program. So as you see in the output, we have printed not reached keep waiting once and then by that time the counter got incremented and then we came out of the while loop. Note that your output might be different. You might not see not reached and keep waiting at all or you might see more than once. It's not certain how many times or how long will each thread will execute. So uh, something to keep in mind and in the exam, you will not get any question which, you, which would ask you output of this type of program. Now note that just having a while is not good programming practice because it keeps on holding the resource of the computer. So if one thread has to wait for the another thread, we usually put a sleep in the thread that's waiting. And while the thread sleep, it doesn't hold up the resources. I will put a sleep in the main method and we'll do it after the print statement. And in this case, I'm waiting for one millisecond. Sleep method will throw interrupted exception. So in this case, I am not catching it. I'm just adding it to the definition of the main. Let me save and run the program. And uh, there isn't any difference in the output. Just to demonstrate that the main thread will keep waiting until the counter is reached to that value. Let me increment the counter such that the thread takes some time for execution. So I will increment counter for 5 million times and I'll keep checking until the value becomes 4 million in the main thread. So now let me save the program and run it. And as you see in this case, um, I have checked 5 times before moving out of the while loop and again note that the number of times we have uh, the main thread will check the status of the increment thread 
will really depend system to system. This is the mechanism we use for polling using the static variables. And this concludes the video. If you have liked the video, please hit the like button and subscribe for my channel for the future videos. Thank you.